The Caribbean will meet in Kingston, Jamaica during July 2nd to 4th this year to comprehensively review national, regional, and interregional efforts to address the mandates of the BIP, POA, and the Mauritius strategy. We continue to look forward to the support of regional and international institutions to facilitate this important review, including those of CARICOM Secretariat, UNDESA, ECLAC, and the UNDG LAC. It is my hope and expectation that the very substantive and strategic exchanges that the Caribbean has shared with the wider region this week will serve as important contributors to the search for practical and innovative solutions to the challenges we continue to face. Among the priority areas of attention which we agreed during our forum this week are the following. Continuing to advocate for special consideration to be given to small, heavily indebted middle-income countries by international financial and development institutions. Exploring innovative ways to increase engagement of the diaspora in sub-regional development, including through diaspora direct investment in line with national policies and priorities. Increasing investment in research and development and furthering the patenting of inventions originating in the region. Designing a mechanism to assess the carrying capacity of the tourism industry. Addressing the development of our children and youth with emphasis on their active involvement in development. Prioritizing policies and actions to address citizen security, focusing on youth and gender-based violence. Addressing the challenges of communicable and non-communicable diseases in a holistic manner, including through ensuring universal access to primary health care services for promotion, prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation. Resolving to ensure the implementation of green economy policies with the support of the international community, and that such policies be implemented on a voluntary basis and in accordance with national uh, priorities. <coughs> Strengthening measures to address disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation in order to build resilience. Pursuing more aggressively the creation of knowledge-based economies through enhanced access to information, research, and increased application of appropriate technologies. Seriously addressing the challenges of food and energy security and examining ways in which the UN system and the wide international community can support countries in implementing sustainable development initiatives. We in the Caribbean are committed to ensure that within the ongoing process to shape a new sustainable development paradigm in the post-2015 period, acknowledgement of the unique vulnerabilities of SIDS will find ample expression so that the sustainable development strategy that is fashioned for the future takes fully into account measures to build the resilience needed to respond to the challenges faced by SIDS. It is also our hope that the Barbados Plus 20 review of the SIDS Sustainable Development Agenda will forge the necessary global partnership that will help our countries overcome the challenges that we face. I thank you.